So, you want to make some bokeh? Well, bokeh. Oh yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Spy Kai. I'm Kai. Today we are back once again. And before you ask, no, I have no idea what the intro means. I... Yep, we're gonna just move right on past that. So, we're gonna make some bokeh today. We've done this in the past, but a lot of stuff about Blender is different. Um, and I, I did this slightly different as well. And this is a really nice technique. It looks really nice, really clean, really... Um, Modern? I don't know the, what word to use, but it looks really good. I really enjoy it. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hit delete on default cube, and then we're going to go ahead and grab our camera, and then maybe, uh, actually, we're going to hit shift A first. Shift A, mesh, plane, then hit S to scale it up a little bit like that. Just uh, nothing crazy, you know? And then we'll go to the uh, particle tab here. Hit this plus to add a new particle system. And then we'll go to uh, uh, field weights and turn gravity all the way down. We can get rid of field weights now. Um, we can go to physics and scroll down. Change the Brownian all the way up to like maybe five for now. Um, and then hit shift A and we can search for a circle. This circle is going to be an ingon right there. You can see we changes the ingon right there instead of nothing. Ingon. Then hit G, Y to move the circle back over here just behind the camera. So it's not visible. Um, basically is all we're doing. Then hit R. X and then 90 so uh, 90 on your numpad and hit enter to confirm that then we go ahead and go back to our camera hit this little arrow over on the right hand side or you can hit in to open up this in panel go to view and then check camera to view hit zero to go into the camera's view and then click and drag the middle mouse button the but the button in the middle of your mouse the scroll wheel button essentially until it looks something like this like so you get down here hold down shift and then click and drag the middle mouse button the scroll wheel and then you can do like this and just pan around or you can just do like this to rotate um, i'm gonna put it about about right there uncheck camera to view grab our plane hit r y to rotate it on the y axis like that and then hit g to move it down out of the camera's view cool um, I also want to actually maybe move the camera a little bit differently. So let's, let's, let's do this like this. So we'll, we'll kind of have the camera be like this. So I don't want to see any of the plane. I just want to see like like that. Yeah, that's a nice angle. I like that angle. It kind of goes up. I enjoyed that a little bit. All right, cool. So uncheck that again so then we can move around freely. It should look basically like this. Now, with our plane still selected, we're going to go down to render and check render as and then change this to object and then change instance object to the circle. And now when we play this, you can see that what comes out is the circle, but it's like flat and weird. So we have to fix that by going on down to a uh, viewport display. Um, actually, no, not viewport display. We're going to change. We're going to check object rotation. Now they're rotated the right way. Scroll up to the top here and change the lifetime because you can see they're kind of dying really easily. So I'm going to change those the lifetime from 50 to 250 because that is the end of our uh, scene. As you can see down here, 250. Um, now they go for much longer, which is what we need. Um, and also, I think Brownian is too high on five, so we'll put it on three for now. That looks good. We'll go ahead and um, change the scale. Make the scale a little bit bigger and change the random scale, of course, just to get a little bit of variation. Hit zero to go back into our camera's view. And now you can see basically what we have here. Now, obviously, these aren't blurred at all, so we have to go about doing that. But first, I want to go ahead and hit N to get rid of that panel once again. Um, and we'll go to the world tab and change the color to solid black because it looks better. And then if we go to rendered, you can see this what it looks like so far. So basically we have that one light in the scene that's kind of lighting up some of them and not others. But I want to take this to a further extent. You can go back to solid viewport shading up here at the top. You can see these little four little buttons. Uh, just go back to solid so we can see everything. Now grab our lamp. So select that and hit shift D to duplicate that lamp and move it about over here. And just another area so that lights up some of the other um, some of the other circles. So now you can see when we go back to rendered, it looks like this, but that's too bright because I want some of them to be a little darker. So we'll move it back a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, the ones in the front are kind of black. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want. All right, cool. Now for both these lamps, we're going to uncheck shadow. So go to both these lights and then go to the lamp tab and uncheck shadow because we don't want shadows on these. It's going to make just things look weird and like not how I want anyway. Um, all right. Now the last thing we have to do basically is go to the camera and go down to uh, the camera tab here, select the camera, go to the camera tab, hit depth of field, open it up, 
change the f-stop basically all the way down to 0.1 now your computer might take a bit of a hit here so you might want not want to go all the way down to 0.1 maybe you want to go down to like 0.3 or something but I'm gonna go all the way to 0.1 um, and we're gonna go ahead and change the focal distance until it looks like I want it which is about right there so I want one out there that's too big maybe about let's put this on like maybe let's do eight yeah let's do eight and then I'll just change the size of the particles and make the particles bigger themselves there we go that's what I like to see all right cool so this is essentially what I wanted but now they're just a little bright in my opinion so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix that by going to the material tab um, I'm turning off my overlay so you can't see that real quick uh, what was I saying oh yes I'm going to the material tab hitting this little drop down selecting material with the plane selected of course and then we're gonna go ahead and change the metallic all the way up the specular all the way up and the roughness almost all the way down and we'll do the same thing with the circle so select the circle and then hit this little little circle that we're using of course hit this little button and then select that material so now the particles are that material as well so now you can see they look like this which looks much cooler obviously but now I think these are a little still a little too dark so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab where is it at? I'm gonna grab this one and we are gonna move it over just a little tiny bit so that it like gets more of the hmm. so that it gets more there we go yeah that's what I'm looking for okay cool 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 I think maybe the one in the center I might make a color oh that looks so cool holy moly okay I really like that that looks nice I might duplicate a couple more of these so that there's some color through here um hey just hit shift D and like some of them will be colored that looks actually so cool I don't even know what to tell you um that's very cool so I'm gonna turn uh on under camera I'm gonna go to viewport display turn passer part out all the way up pa passer part two yeah there we go that's how I said um yeah so that's basically it I really enjoy this effect it's very simple I'm gonna change um maybe the bloom I'll turn some bloom on so we have a little bit of bloom in there I'm gonna turn the uh, intensity down though because it's like uh, so much but um but yeah that is basically our bokeh now it's like super bright still in the center there so I'm going to make these um, circles not actually solid white so we'll go back change the base color to like a darker actually no I'll leave it up and then we'll actually go ahead and grab the the uh, piece in the middle here the one the the lamp in the middle and we'll turn down the strength if I can grab it somewhere where is it uh, I can't even see it holy um, let's go back to solid viewport shading um, where's the white one the white one hello is this one where's the huh oh yeah, all these are blue that's blue this one's white uh, let's turn this down from a thousand to do half we'll do half but there's still one really bright right here am I like crazy or something all right let's go through all the lights up here I must be crazy I'm just gonna get rid of all together what does it look like okay well there's still another one <laughs> what the heck oh that's the one okay that's the one oh my goodness gracious okay so let's turn it down from, from 500 more let's put, but let's put it on 100 or maybe no 100 uh, 100 was it look like I think 100 will be fine yes I I believe that it is it is definitely fine all right ladies and gentlemen that is our like I don't know cinematic like clean bokeh I suppose as it were but um but yeah hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it I will see you in the next one but until then bye bye